Facebook has become a lot more pleasant. And one of the reasons it has been this way is because I have taken my time to get rid of sponsored ads appearing on my Facebook feed. Now I'm going to show you how I did that and it's going to get rid of I would say about 95 percent of the sponsored ads that you will see and I'll show you I'll tell you about the other five percent at the end of this. Now I'm in classic mode but you're going to be able to get there in both versions of Facebook. So you're going to go up into the upper right hand corner you're going to click on the upside down triangle and you're going to scroll down to settings. Now off to the left hand side you are going to go down to ads. Now this <laughs> there is no easy way to do this. Hollow out some time during your day or do it on multiple days but you're going to have to do it this way. There, there are no browser extensions that will do this. There is no third party anything to be able to do this. You are going to have to do this on your own because Facebook is always changing their architecture and the extensions that you put into your browser that may work to eliminate ads will not work all the time. So this is the hub in which you go to. You are going to have to go through each one of these instances and it'll eliminate these things. Now we're going to first start in your interest, be it my interest. Now I have gone ahead and done all of this stuff before, but you can see these are the interests that and whenever you look at them, they are not going to be grayed out or whited out. Um, on yours you're going to have them and if you've never done this you're going to have a lot and it's important to look at the see more once you're done because there are a lot more now if I were to go ahead and let's say click on Fox News Channel I would add this as an interest now that's what some of them are going to look like whenever I do that I'm adding it as an interest and Facebook is going to see all of these interests that are there there and they are going to start sending you ads based off of these interests so the only thing that you have to do is just click on the X and get rid of them you're gonna have a dialogue box going ahead pop up you may have them saying are you sure you want to get rid of them yes sure sure you're gonna be doing it to all of the interests and you're gonna have a lot now how all of these things come about is if you have played a game if you've done a quiz, if you've liked a page post from like your friends reposting of a Facebook page, if you've done anything of the kind, it is going to show up as an interest. And those ads are based off of those interests. So you go through this section and you just eliminate them all. Every single one of them. And it's going to take time depending. I mean, it took me, <laughs> I'm just going to admit it to you folks. It took me about 30 minutes to, to hammer through all of this stuff. And then you go to your advertisers and your businesses and you go through all of these things and it gives you descriptions as to what's going on, but you're going to have to go through each one of these and you're going to have to ch go to the view controls and mine is set up to allow what you're going to see is don't allow click don't allow on every single one of these and the first time that you do this on each one of these controls you are going to get a dialog box asking you if you want to do it and then you're going to get a little check box saying do you want to do this on all of this do you want the same thing check that please because it's going to make your time go by a lot faster Take your time and read over this. Find out how you got these things in the first place, especially the stuff that's here. Facebook does not hide anything about their practices as far as running ads on your on your page. They they put it out there for you to see, but most of us just don't want to deal with it. So what you do is on the advertisers and business with each one of these tabs, you're going to go through each one of these and remember to click on the show more you are going to have a lot more and these right down through here these are lists that they're that you get on whenever you click on your interests and all that and the same thing with
whose website. Now I've got this already set up and already done and set up for all of these things and all of this stuff has been taken out and you can go through and see each one of these pages I have gone in and unliked all of these pages and I just didn't want them you go through each one of these things and you just you undo what you have done over the course of months or years so then you go to your information and make sure that all of these are grayed out because the advertisers are going through here and basing their ads off of education and job title. Now, you would think that, um, well, what's the big deal? If I'm an administrative assistant, how many ads can come my way? Believe it or not, there are a lot for administrative assistant. You could get into office supplies, you could get into coding, you could get into anything related to office administrative assistant. You know, and that's just an example. You could get into all of these things that are there. You go through the about you, you go through the categories if you have any. Make sure that they are all set to off and you go down and once you get all of that stuff done you go to your ad settings make sure you set these things to not allowed not allowed and no one you go through all of these things and then you're able to go through your um your ad topics now you're able to go through all of these things and turn them off hide them permanently go to the parenting now yours are going to look different you may have more you may have less but go through each one of these and make sure that they are set to hide permanently same thing on all of these things you've got a lot that are going to be there and then you've got a little information um, instance and where you can go through and find out how Facebook ads work and it's good to go through all of these things to find out how they came into being. But essentially, in a nutshell, how they came into being is that we as Facebook users like a post. We like a picture. We like a video. We like all these things. We, we set up our interests, our books that we like, our movies that we like. And off of that information, it just spider webs out into all of these different ad categories that you are instantly put on, all of these lists that you instantly get put on, all of these things that are out there that just fill up your feed full of nonsense and if you've ever clicked on an ad for anything that you like and I mean if if you click on an ad you know you're uh, the ad person is doing their job they see that you're like involved in nature involved in gardening or involved in architecture or music or computers or gaming or any of these things you're going to see all of these ads and this is the thing that you do from your computer and you're gonna have to do all of the stuff here folks it's gonna take time you've got to go through each each one of these and you are going to find stuff that you didn't even think that you liked but you did at one point you did because those things don't show up on their own now to close this thing out I want to say with your friends if your friends like uh, a page like my pillow and I saw this just the other day I have it show up on my on my feed here and whenever I We'll go through it, and I found the My Pillow ad. What I did is I went through and found the three little dots up here, and said that in red, hide ad. You have to go through. You know, you don't want to see any more ads from these things. But after I did all of this stuff, and of course after I cleared out my friends list of a lot of people, I was able to get a lot of these pages or these people that I have not seen in a while and I'm seeing all of these pages without so much as a sponsored ad popping out and this type of stuff that I just described will work for 95 percent of your home feed and if it ever pops up that you don't want to see it then just go through the thing and hide the ad and say you never want to see that ad again now I've got this to where it shows up pages and groups and all of that stuff 
But in the end, you are going to have a much, much better browsing experience if you just go through the time like I showed you and deselect everything, get rid of everything, and for God's sakes, don't like. If you see an article and all that stuff, they don't need you to click on their little dealio to do that because once you like an article or a picture or a video or a meme or a note from a page or a group, well, I don't think so much groups, but definitely from pages, you are going to get hit with ads again. And we're on autopilot if we like something we like. But don't do that. Share it if you like. Well, of course, I think that's going to get you in any type of interaction that you do. And if you find out that you've done something, you're going to have to go through the process all over again and find those people in your ad preferences and do the exact same thing that you did the first time when you cleared this off. I hope that this helps. It makes for a much, much better Facebook experience getting rid of the vast majority of sponsored ads. Later.